When your body is attacked by a virus or bacteria, it can defend itself with a special army that fights back. That army is called the immune system. Let's have a closer look. The immune system is made up of many different types of cells that all work together to fight infections. The first cells to notice the attacking virus or bacteria are the dendritic cells. You could call them your body scouts, the first line of defense. These scouts are everywhere, including in your blood, your skin, and your muscles. The job of these cells is to warn the rest of the army about the attack. When a scout spots an enemy, it runs to the lymph nodes, which are the coordination centers of your immune system. Here it tells other cells called T cells everything about the invading enemy, including what it looks like. Now, T cells take command, passing the information about the invading enemy on to the foot soldiers called B cells. The B cells use the information like an instruction manual to build weapons called antibodies, which are specially designed to fight this particular enemy. The B cells now move from the lymph nodes to the battlefield, where they shoot the antibodies at the enemy. When the antibodies hit, they bind to them, neutralizing the enemy. The antibodies can also attract another type of cell to the fight, the so-called phagocytes which eat the neutralized enemy. Some of the B cells become veterans that are trained to defeat the enemy in the future. If your body is attacked by the same virus or bacteria again, the veteran B cells are ready this time to quickly build even better antibodies to stop the virus before it can make you sick.